Folks, back in the hot tub, the cool tub, the jacuzzi. The way I got this thing sitting out here, that afternoon sun, that sun is going down. So I can really work on my tan out here. And all I do, folks, I just fill this thing up about, about two, three inches. About three inches worth of water here. Let's take a look. Just enough. It's enough to cool yourself off. Look at that. All you ladies out there don't get too high and bothered about my legs. I know they're sexy. But uh, this is the best way to use this here jacuzzi because you fill the damn thing up. It's just more work to clean it out. I fill it up two, three inches, enough to cool me off, keep me cool, easy to clean. Just easy clean up. Now the one thing I do like about this thing, the sides are sturdy enough where you can just like lay back. You can just lean back like this. If you don't watch it, you'll go to sleep, take a nap. All right, I got some jet, jet aircraft overhead. Let's see if we can pick them out. Might be blocked by the tree here. Folks got wife number two on the scene. I told her to go ahead and give me that cold sand make light from the freezer. As a matter of fact, instead of putting one more up there, baby, why don't you put two up there? Put two up there. Now, baby, why are you looking so sexy today? My goodness. It's a big one. That's cold, but it's not cold enough to put ice on the outside of it. So I need to leave it in there a little bit longer, but I was thirsty. Oh my goodness. I tell you folks, living this lifestyle is difficult. It's difficult. Baby, I was gonna go to the store so I could see my girlfriend. If you're going up there, while you're up there, find out how, how her night was, how her day's been, and tell her I'm I'm come up there later and see her. I'm not in this no, just be the messenger, baby. Help help me out with my girlfriend now. Close that baby. What is wrong with that woman? Stress on money. That mama Tima. <laughs> Should we open the door for her? Ah! Hey, there's mama Tima. Baby, how's my girlfriend? What? You went to a different shop? You jealous of my girlfriend? You had one mission just to go check on my girlfriend. Now she's gonna be angry because I didn't show up. So I'm late. I don't care. Look, Maria. Maria's looking like, hmm, what she got in that sack? Ah! She got some food in that sack. Sweetie, you don't want to swim with Papa? Timmy. <laughs> uh oh, Mama Timmy got popcorn. Popcorn? <laughs> what you got, baby? Hello, hello. It's so hot. Oh, no, they got. Hello, hello. Hey, sweetie, I thought you were swimming with Papa. Baby, jump on in here. Uh -huh. Did you want you to put your hair down? Now, happiness is when you're busy and when you don't even know it, your wife, number two, comes and cleans out your grill. Now, she didn't actually do a stellar job over here with the garlic, but she put my, my gloves in the garlic. Now, they're going to smell like garlic, which is not a bad thing, but... That's happenings right there, folks. Open up the grill. Wife number one took the initiative. The, I mean, she just grabbed a goat by its horns. And she rode that goat. 
Mm. That's what I keep telling her. If there's a job to be done, baby, just ride that goat. Don't try to wait for somebody else to do it. Don't pass it off to somebody else. Don't try to pass the buck. You just ride that goat. That's what she did today. big pieces in here small pieces that fall through and then stop up my damn burner over there oh yeah first time trying to game pineapple oh my god that's like a pina colada in your mouth right there mm. absolutely delicious when i closed my eyes i was in key west florida i ain't gonna lie i was at ernest hemingway's house Man, let me, let, give me a minute. Let me just. Mmm. That, that was what happened to me. I, I was just teleported, transported to Key West, Florida. Shout out to you, Duke, man. Hope you're doing well, brother. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, yeah. Papa! Yes, sweetie. Sweetie, who's singing the song? Huh? Who's that singing? Kuya Eric. Yeah, Kuya Eric. Back's hurting. The force she loves to do piggyback. Hot coals and a cold beer. Folks, I'm gonna tell you. When you cook your meat too close to the coals, uh, I mean, it's gonna cook, but it's gonna char. I mean, if you're in a hurry, that's the way to do it. If you're not in a hurry, you put some offset between that heat. Oh, ow, look at that. Took a header off of there. You put some offset between the heat and the meat. I'm not in a big hurry. So she always talked about, you know, the meat too charred, even claimed that I burn it once or twice, you know, false allegations. But if you put it up here, put a little offset and drop the hammer on this, this thing will go up to about 300, 350. It's like it's in a delicious oven. Just lock it down. That thing will hit up, I don't know, 300, three and a quarter or whatever. Just let it bake. It ain't gonna burn. Baby, don't try to accuse me of burning any more meats. Oh, my whole memories come alive. If I did my bitching because I'm doing this, I said, you know what? 
It's a my night. It's all about me tonight on these noodles, okay? Beef coconut noodles. The baby's gonna love them. She's over there pissed off, but you know what? Folks, if, if you have a Filipina, they do not care about your culinary taste, never. You care about their taste every day, every meal, and they don't give a shit what you want. But sometimes you gotta put your foot down and say, no, I'm, I'm going coconut tonight. There you go, I'm gonna cream this up. There we go, I'm creaming that up. And everybody's gonna love it. She can be pissed off tonight, I don't care. Used to hear make my whole memories come alive. That's a poor man's macaroni and cheese right there because I ain't got no butter and I ain't got no cheese. Mmm. Right there. Holding at 375. Folks, the, the smell, the smell coming off of that with that coconut, all the spices I hit on it, it's so damn delicious. It's like candy. It's like a dessert. Look at that. Right consistency. Noodles are mmm. The right consistency it's time to kill the heat and let that thicken up mm, mm, mm. it's amazing that i can do this algebraic equation in my head i know the heat loss the evaporation rate the uh the noodle softening rate i, I do all these calculations in my head and that is absolute coconut deliciousness what's we eating Sweetie, I know it's delicious. I gave her a taster. Now you gotta wait, sweetie. Let it cool down, okay? Mmm. Mm-mm. Trying to look at that. That's the appropriate appropriate temperature on a San Miguel light. It's like a slushy. You know why I love this video? Because I love them three sisters right there. There you go, my friends. Let no man or woman ever say that I've ever burnt any barbecue chicken. Not one time in my life. Look at that. I'm going to go in for a close-up. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm working with tonight. My family here eating on these chicken, chicken barbecue. Forrest Jeep turning up that royal. Wife number one, she's ate like three plates. Oh, excuse me, wife number two. Ate like three plates already. 